It's time for the buzz. It's time for the buzz with the Queen Bee on the Devin Dixon Show. You know it, uh, Queen Bee in the studio. What's up, girl? A little bit of baseball. Michael Tyler of the Oakland A's. He's already missed a week of the A's camp. Do you know why? I don't know why, well, but I'm, my, my brain is just envisioning. It's got to be good, right, if it's yeah. on here. <laughs> he cut his pinky finger in his right hand in two spots, trying to throw away a wad of gum. Oh, my goodness. One of the gashes is healed and the other hasn't. He's 6'5", and his hand hit the light on the ceiling of the dugout as he, like, tossed it in the trash. Just ripped his hand open. That's a new one. I have not. I didn't see that one coming. Unbelievable. Of all the things I envisioned rapid fire style in my head, that was not gum like cut. No, that no. wasn't it. Left field. Pretty awesome, though. Makes for a good story. Hope he still makes the team. I, no, he's already on the team. I well, think. Oh, no. It's a base camp. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> I, think they, I think they actually felt so bad for him that they're going to keep him with the team right now. That's pathetic. <laughs> All right, um, more baseball. Houston Astros. Have you like heard about the season right now that they're projecting for them? Well, it couldn't it couldn't be much worse than last year. 107 losses last ooh, year. Ooh. Okay, so they're projecting another 100 loss season. Now, if you're aware, the Astros have the lowest budget for players of all the teams. Do you know that the Astros, what they pay their entire roster, about equals what the Yankees play pay Alex Rodriguez? Oh. Maybe that's part of the problem. It's kind of embarrassing. Kind of. It's kind, kind of, of? it's kind of embarrassing. It really is. I mean, they fired their manager. They made a ton of trades. They got rid of their their, their higher-paid players last year. And I don't know how they're going to win this year. You're absolutely right. I, You know what? And the sad thing is, is they were talking about camp. You know, oh, who's looking good, blah, blah, blah. They go, so you know what? Anybody at this camp right now has a shot to make it. And they said even this, like, this double-A ball player who's never seen a pitch practically, they're like, anybody has a chance to make it. That's not looking too good. You know, maybe, maybe they'll surprise some people. I hope so. You know what I want about my Yankees not doing well this year? You know what? It puts it in perspective. So, yeah, sorry, guys. All Astros fans. If things get rough, just remember that you always got the Astros to fall back on. That's true. We it could be worse. Fails. We could be a Houston Astros fan. Sorry, yeah. AG. Oof. So, anyway, uh, Swiss hockey player Ronnie Kelly. Two hockey stories in one buzz? Two, two hockey stories in one buzz. It's pretty awesome. This one's not such a great story, though. Uh-oh. So, uh, Ronnie Kelly. He, you know, in Switzerland. He's 33. He's a 15-year veteran of the sport professionally. Okay. He suffered permanent paralysis after being head-checked into the boards during a playoff game. Mm. The incident's been being investigated, but so far police have found nothing to indicate the other player hit him purposely with malicious, malicious intent to injure him. Now, I saw this video. He checked him pretty hard, but somehow the guy just went head first. I don't know. He flew off his skates head first. He had no head trauma. It all hit his neck and just his head snap forward. Mm. I mean, it just was one of those You're making me things. queasy. Stop. I know. I'm sorry. Stop. Stop. Uh, mamas don't let your kids grow up to be hockey players. I used to play hockey. I loved it. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> They're athletes. I'll tell you that. But, it, it, I mean, I wonder what the NFL injury rate compares, like, to the hockey injury rate. Well, think about it. Also, hockey fights. That had some injuries on to it. There's well, I'd rather, I'd rather have else. cleats scrape me than skates. ice skates. I saw earlier, like two weeks ago, uh, Achilles got sliced, the hockey skate. I mean, there's, ah. there's everything. Yeah, I mean, I skated for, you know, 10 years, 11 years. So. I mad props to you because I cannot skate, let alone hit a puck with skates on. Oh, I would love to see that then. That would be a good <laughs> challenge one time. Can Devin make the goal with an open net? Probably not. It's hard to, hard to shoot a puck when you're on your tail. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. That'd be a great vision. All right, let's see. Minnesota high school wrestler Caleb Smith. He won his first match this past week. Woo! Yeah, great, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this story wouldn't be amazing or interesting at all if it weren't for the fact that he has no arms or legs. Yeah. No How did he win? Legs. He has just figured out a way to maneuver his body. He's 120 pounds without his arms or legs. Uh-huh. And he's just figured out a way to pretty much take his body and pin down the opponent. Now, his arms had to be amputated below the elbows and his legs below the knees after contracting a rare blood disease when he was three. So he's learned to kind of move his body now that he's 14. You know, in the way that he needs to. So, mad props to him. That's really awesome. Is it? What was his name again? Caleb Smith, in Minnesota. Oh, because I'm watching. I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching this. Amazing. I'm watching it right now. I Are just, you? Oh, yeah, it's six hundred thousand plus views. Oh, oh man, look at him shoot up in there. Yeah, he's quick. He is. Are you kidding quick. me? Yeah, that is unreal. So, so, guys, check this out on YouTube. It's pretty amazing video. I wish we could just bring the radio. But. <laughs> Yeah. Unbelievable! Yeah, go 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 YouTube, 
a wrestler with no arms or legs. Yeah, it'll pop up pretty quick. It's pretty unusual. Wow, I'm glad you shared. Go, I'm serious, listeners. Go check that out. This kid amazing. is amazing. So I'm curious to see if he keeps going, if he'll play in college. Get him, pin him, sweet. pin him, get him. <laughs> He's going to get him, go. Oh, wait, there's four minutes left of the clip, so he yeah, must not pin him right yet. <laughs> he takes a little bit of time, but eventually he gets it. This other kid's got to be going, what just hit me? Oh, that just got to suck to the other kid being like, wow, that is wow. terrible. Yeah. What an inspira- That's got to be an inspirational story to everybody that knows this this young man. I know. Or even for people that don't know him, for, you know, any amputees that, you there's know. There's a couple other ones, it. too. looks like there's multiple. I don't know. I haven't read more in this about the story than about anything else, but, I mean. Well, there's a Dustin Carter. Hmm. Another kid. So, wow. good for all of them. Yeah. All right. Uh, Johnny Menzel. Oh, uh, Johnny Football! Yay! 2012 Heisman Trophy winner. As you know, the only freshman ever to win it. QB for Texas A&M Aggies. He was spotted in a photo revealing a Texas Longhorn tattoo on his chest. Now, it needs to be noted that the Longhorns are the Aggies' biggest rivals. And you're going, what the heck is going on? Right. Well, apparently Manziel and his family have been lifelong fans of the Longhorns, but they decided not to heavily recruit him. Big mistake. I'm sure they are beating themselves in the head now for doing that. So, he still has the tattoo. Whoops, there's a couple other players that have, like, someone has an Auburn tattoo at Alabama. I mean, there's a couple players that, you know, went to the rival schools, but, wow. and they have to be pretty big players. This reminds me of uh, Rex Ryan with the, was it real? Was it fake? Is, <laughs> no, this one's real. Legitimately, they've they've confirmed that his Longhorn tattoo is real. I don't know what the Rex Ryan thing, I think that's, I don't mm. know. Anyway, um, I saw. I, on another note, I saw a five-star linebacker. I think his name is Reuben Foster. He yeah. verbally committed to Alabama with after Auburn changing tattoo. his mind, and he yeah. had an Auburn tattoo. That's the guy I was talking about. Yeah, that, and yeah. it's a huge tattoo. It takes like his <laughs> entire forearm. So, wow. oops, so whatever. Okay, um, at the halftime of the Sunday's Missouri Valley Conference final. A 24-year-old student made the shot of his life. Did you hear about this? I think I did. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Alex Perman, he needed to hit in order in this order, a layup, a foul shot, a three-pointer, and one from center court, all within 24 seconds to win $50,000. After he sunk the half quarter, he started to celebrate with only one problem. He'd forgotten to shoot the three-pointer. Wah, wah, wah. Aww. Whoops. So the conference officials, they talked about it, and they agreed to give Perman lifetime tickets to the MVC tournament and a trip to St. Louis for next year's edition. Actually, I was very surprised to hear this kid's interview. He really didn't seem that upset. He kind of was just like, well, I suck. I messed up. It's my own fault. He was so excited because he'd been working on that half-court shot and yeah. he forgot the three. Yeah, he managed to make the hardest shot and forgot the Where's simplest. the guy on the mic? The, where's the, the MC that's supposed to be, all right, there's the lay-in. There's the three. Oh, wait, wait shoot the three. Go shoot the three. There's somebody supposed to be doing that? You know what? I don't even think, honestly, if someone was, that he probably would have heard it because you're so in the zone. Think about it. You're so in the zone. You're not hearing anything around you. 24 seconds. For $50,000, I'd know what I had to do. Yeah, but I know. And But when you're that excited, sometimes you make dumb mistakes. And the kid actually took it well. And he made he the half court it. shot. And he made the half court shot. That, that, he's and, kicking yeah, himself. I know. He is. But he was really gracious about it, which is nice. Okay, Matt Castle. Let's talk about this. Ah, uh, yep. Today goes <sighs> to Minnesota. Released from the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, you know what? Matt Castle, USC Trojan. He, this guy just can't seem to catch a break. I mean, everything. He never played in college. Wait a minute now. He caught a break. He's an NFL player. Yes, but I mean, like, any time he got a shot, it just seems like he just gets put back down the dumps. Because he got the <laughs> shot. You know, think about it. When, when Tom Brady <coughs> oh, went wait. down with Time the Patriots. Out. What? Time out. Come on. You don't have a soft spot for Matt Castle, do you? I, you know what? I felt bad from all the way back from when he was a Trojan. He makes millions of dollars. Yeah, he makes money. yeah but think about it. His it's own a... team cheered when he got injured last year when he walked off the field. That, 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 was, that was not right. Yeah. But he made five and a half million dollars last year. Yeah, but Who's made... feeling sorry for him out there? You are working nine to five. You're making your $50,000 a year if you're lucky. And he, he's got to make it 5.25. I and know. Just feeling bad for him. I know. I still feel kind of bad for him. I just feel like he just... He's got a chance to be around. a backup to Christian Ponder. Yeah. Well, hey, maybe he'll win the job. Maybe. I don't know. I've always felt kind of bad for the dude. So I know that sounds weird and no one else can agree with me, but that's fine. I'll have my own opinion on this one. <laughs> Mock uh, do, me all you want. I'm going to have to pull up the Trojan fight song here soon if this continues. Pull up the Trojan fight song. That'd be <laughs> fantastic. I'll just sing along. Um, a Michigan high school won a playoff game after holding the ball for seven straight minutes. Literally, they just stood there and held the ball, which was pretty fantastic. Hey. Uh, Muskegon Heights. 
They won their game 58 to 44 in a Michigan Class C tournament game, despite what they did in the second quarter. Now, you see, stuff like this is why the NBA has had a shot clock for the last 59 years. Right. Because, come on, you're going to hold the ball for seven minutes? Can we get something a little more exciting? I think they should have just been disqualified just for doing that. Well, yeah, sometimes, you know, no, 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 I disagree. No. Why? Because if that's the only way that you think you can win, that coach and those, that team has no, to write. No, they're saying that they were good and that they could have won anyway. They were just being brats. Personally, that's what I think. I think they should. They should. Bring it up. Oh, fine. Yes. <laughs> In other news, I can't believe I'm playing the USC Trojan fight song. Fight on, baby. Fight on. Can you sing it? There's no words. I was just gonna hum along. <laughs> and you get on the little fight on your side. <laughs> we need a shot clock in high school. <laughs> Woo! This is totally making my day. This is yeah. fantastic. It makes me really want to be at the games again right now. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Thank uh, you. And in other news, the Trojans lost to the Utes last night. Did they? Yeah, 69 uh, to 66. Uh, not surprising. We're not that great <laughs> in basketball. I only care about the football anyway. It's fine. All right. Um. Okay, on to... Who else? Dennis Rodman to finish out the news before the quiz. Oh, goodness. I what did know. he do now? What did he do now? So he went to the Vatican this week to try to arrange a meeting with the new pope. Mm -hmm. He told TMZ, uh, which some of you, if you don't know, that's the big gossip TV show slash website. Um, I want to be anywhere in the world that I am needed. I want to spread a message of peace and love throughout the world. <coughs> 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 The, the smoke coming out of the Vatican got me there. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Now, at first, everyone thought, you know, they were, thought he was trying to be a rogue diplomat and trying to be relevant and simply do good. No, world. he's nuts. I know, but that's what people were like. It came up. I was reading everywhere. Oh, maybe he's just actually trying to turn a, a page, please. Whatever. It immediately came out that this was not the case. Shocker. <laughs> Turns out the Irish book, uh, bookmaker, Patty Power, yeah. which is known for its stunt advertising, confirmed that the trip was organized and paid by them to drum up attention for the company. It was to, and I quote, spread the co the gospel of Pope betting. Unbelievable. Okay, you're really going to bet on the Pope? And by the way, I heard a lot of people who did not vote for that the That makes Argentina more sense, one. though. Rodman would be involved with gambling rather than oh, uh, diplomacy the Catholic religion. <laughs> or anything that's actually good intentioned. Yes. So, yeah, I don't, you know what, this is, the world has come to this point with the papal, like, betting. Really? Like, can we, please, I don't, you know what, I really don't even have words for this. Oh. Uh, You've got to be kidding. The Rodman streak of three weeks in a row makes it into the buzz. Can we, you know what, I really just, I'm hoping he doesn't do anything else. Will it be four straight weeks? Tune in next Thursday. Yeah. For the buzz with the Queen Bee. We still have the quiz to go, too. <laughs> We're going to play the quiz game when we come back. It's buzz time trivia right after Woo! this. The Queen Bee, stick around. Welcome back. Let's start over. <laughs> Welcome back. It's the buzz. Time for buzz time trivia. 673-9398. How much do they earn in endorsements in their career? That Thus is the topic. 673-9398. Let's go to the phone lines. You're our first contestant. How are you? Good. All right. Here we go. All right, let's start off with Tiger Woods. Let's do that. All right. All right, Tiger Woods. How much has Tiger Woods made endorsements so far in his career? Mm. We're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. We're going to round it close. Yeah, to So to if you're in a, a million or two, we're going to give it to you. Yeah. 730 million. No, actually only 54 million. 54, 500,000. Really? Yeah, because he had he got 100,000 the 100 million endorsements, but so many of them dropped. He never actually got the money. I'm reading it on the internet right here. It says total reported sports endorsement, seven hundred and thirty. Well, then you're cheating. Get out of here. First of all, I don't know. I found four websites of the exact same number, so I don't know what he was looking at. Really? Yeah, I was actually surprised by the low number. It didn't look right to me. Total and I'm looking and it by up. By the way, at least don't That's admit cheating. us that you're looking on the internet because <laughs> immediately you're disqualified, and we hate cheaters. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Have a nice day, Tiger Woods. I'm looking it up. Because I saw the up. thing about the hundred million too, but I was like, oh man, he lost a bunch of endorsements. It was saying. Hmm. So what's the Nike's new deal with Rory? Twenty million. Yeah, but that's Rory. See, this, that's a golf man for, this, for some of you that don't follow golf. Let, let's just be honest. We're going with Rach's numbers on this. Let's just stick with this because I found it on multiple websites. <laughs> and for all intents and purposes, Queen Bee rules go for the show. So let's just go there. All right. Uh, let's get to some more of your phone calls. Uh, 
I got a free Hungry Howie's pizza if anybody is within $5 million. 673-93-98. million, that's 98. too easy. What? Easy. Come on. No, it's not. Ugh. Let's go to the phone lines. Who's this? Joe. Hey, how are you? All right, you're not Googling this, okay? Ready? I'm just kidding. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, Dale Earnhardt Jr., NASCAR. How much in endorsements has he made so far? Eighty-seven million. $24 million, actually. That seems that seems low to me. That seems low to me too. Because he's got Wrangler and he's got some energy this drink. This is money that's actually been legitimately paid out. Uh uh-uh. uh Because some so, of the endorsements are not finished yet. Think uh-uh. about it. And if you haven't been paid out fully, then the numbers aren't going to be up there. Because what they're reportedly supposed to get, it's not a completed contract. That's a very valid point. There you go. Try me one. Six seven three ninety three ninety eight. We'll get another caller on the phone. Six seven three ninety three ninety eight. Six seven three ninety three ninety eight. Go. I want one. All right. Uh, Derek Rose, NBA Chicago Bulls. How much he's got? Congrats. Well, he hasn't been in the league very long. Mm-hmm. But you'd uh, be surprised. Do, are you counting when he was paid out in college? If he was. <laughs>